editing the home screen in Salesforce. Every day you log into your Salesforce system and see data that is often not particularly useful. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to change that. So when you log into the system, you see the data you need immediately. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help with Salesforce setup or training, please check the link below, we would love to help. But without further ado, let's go over to our Salesforce page. And as you can see here, I am on my home screen and today's tasks, today's events, key details, I don't particularly need. So in order to change this and add new components and new things to see, all you need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner. This is the setup page. And I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and select the setup option. In order to do this though, you must have administrative access. So you might have to talk to your admin in order to do this if you cannot get to this option. Then we need to go to the quick find and search light and what we are looking for is lightning app builder under user interface go ahead and select this option and this will take you to a lightning app builder page or if you're on the newer version of salesforce you haven't transitioned over uh, or you're not on salesforce classic essentially you'll have to open this in salesforce classic and as you can see here i'm on my lightning app builder and i've got a few different options but the one option we are looking for is the home page default okay and what I need you to do is go to the left hand side of that under the actions and go ahead and press the edit button. Now this is gonna show you kind of exactly what your home screen looks like just from a different view as you can clearly see here. And in order to adjust things, we can move things around, we can drag and drop, it's super, super simple. So firstly, let me explain how to delete something. So if I wanna delete something, let's say today's tasks, just click or hover over it and then go ahead and press that delete option and then go ahead and press save. And then if I go back to my home page, press the refresh button, you can see that that component or widget has now vanished. It's gone from my home screen, okay? And we can go ahead and do the same. If I wanna drag the recent records and move it to this position here, press the save button and we'll head back again, just press the refresh button. You can see that that has been repositioned accordingly. So you can see how we can alter and edit the design of the page to be more suitable, more appealing, provide more information. And then on the left hand side here, we have got all of the things that we can go ahead and drag and drop onto our home page. But I think the most important ones, in my opinion anyway, is we would have the list view. I think that's really, really useful. So that would just show you a list view of information such as recent records, for example. We'd have recent records, that's recent records, recent records again. We've got reports charts, and this is essentially what the all pipeline and the potential revenue source are. These are reports that have actually got charts attached to them, and then you can go ahead and put those onto your dashboard or your home screen. Um, and you've got a few other options here, recommendations, report chart, rich text, tabs, today's events, today's tasks, trending topics, so on and so forth. You are more than welcome to trial all of these. I'm not gonna go through them all in this video because I think you'll be very sick of my voice by the time I've got through everything. But one really, really sought after option is the reporting functionality. As you can see here, we've got all pipelines and potential revenue source. Now, if you've watched my other video on how to generate reports in Salesforce, which is linked somewhere here, go ahead and watch that. And then what we can do with those reports is actually then go ahead and put them into our home screen when there's a chart attached to them. So in order to do so, just drag the report chart into the position that you'd like it to be in. And then what we need to do is select this option and we need to select the report on the right hand side here that you would like to see. But two things you need to bear in mind, you must have this report visually available for public. So it must be a public report, okay? If it's not public, you won't be able to put it on your Lightning App Builder. And secondly, it must have a chart. If there's no chart on it, then you cannot have it as chart report chart functionality. It would have to be a list view or something else, okay? So on the report, we can then scroll through and let's say we wanna see closed one opportunities by owner and you'd be able to see the chart if there was any. Unfortunately, I haven't got any readily available data. Let's say average deal size, current financial year, again, so you can add reports to the page and all you would then need to do is just press the save button, go back to your home page on Salesforce, press refresh and you can see that that report has now been added. Like I said, there's no actual data inside of this system. So it's not the best representation of what it would do, but I'm sure you guys can go ahead and trial this. 
We've also got the dashboard functionality, which you can drag and drop. Again, list view is good. So if you drag list view, this will give you a view list. You can go ahead and you can edit the object. So I say you want to see a list of view, uh, leads, for example, and then you can apply a filter. So apply a filter is obviously like the view options. Um, and if you've got filters on those, you can go and select which ones. You can also hide the view action bar and also hide the search bar as well if you'd like to, just to condense that down a little bit. Um, so this is how to edit the Lightning App Builder on this existing template. Now, what you will notice is that on the home page it's been designed in a certain way in a certain format which you can clearly see here okay so that is how to edit the home page inside of salesforce like i said please go through all of these different options you've got recent items recommendation rich text today's tasks there's loads of additional things that you can add that might be useful to you the other thing that i'd like to go over is just the layout itself now as you can see here you've got like a three or one to two so you've got this wider box and that that theme continues on the left hand side here uh, and then you've got the smaller box on the right hand side in order to change that you'd need to create a new lightning page and then you would need to assign that as your home screen so let me go ahead and walk you through that now so if we press the back button on the left hand side here what we want to do is press the new option and then what we want to do is go ahead and you select the home page and then press next and then just call this home page number two, for example, whatever you want to call it, press the next button. And then you've got here, you've got this breakdown and you can select how you want to view the information. So at, at present, we've got the standard home page, but we can change it, change the dynamic to whatever visual view you want. So three by one or two by one, or you just want one big page or you want a header in three regions, Whatever one you want to do, this is how you create the design. And once you do that, press the done button and then you need to go ahead and add your components accordingly. So you can drag and drop list views and whatever else that you want to apply to your lightning page. Once you're happy, just go ahead and press the save button in the top right hand corner. And now you need to activate it because at present, if we go back to our home screen, you can see that the previous lightning app page still exists on the page. So in order to adjust that or change it over to our new one, what we need to do is activate it. So go to activation in the top right hand corner and then we want to go to our app default and go to assign to apps and then in this instance it's going to be my sales app press the next button press save and then go ahead and press the save option and then if we go back to our home page in salesforce press refresh you can see that there is literally no information here um, it's not not loaded it has loaded there's just nothing that exists if i go back and let's just say add a list view up the top here press save and then go back again and press refresh you can see that our new view has been applied to our home page and again if we want to go back and add our old home page we just need to go to the edit button go to activate in the top right hand corner and then go to app default assign to apps and assign it to whichever apps are going to be most applicable press the save button press save again and refresh and you can see now that our old home page dashboard has been updated so hopefully this video has explained how to edit the home page inside of Salesforce and also how to create a new one. I can't go over everything in this video. Otherwise, like I said, it'd be an hour and a half long um, and it wouldn't be particularly valuable. But hopefully this gives you some insight. Please test it. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.